Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gillen's Garage. And let me tell you what, today I am super excited. Today, picking up something I've needed for the shop for quite a while. So I had to kind of break old red out of the early hibernation. They haven't salted the roads yet, so I, I figure I'm safe for this trip. But just thought I should take the truck instead of the van for this one. Because this one's not particularly heavy but definitely a little bit more interesting. So here you go, look at this. Right here, look at that. 40 foot pipe trailer, right? And you're thinking, what the hell does a guy need a 40 foot pipe trailer for? Well, let me tell you what. We're headed for two four post car lifts. I swear some of these guys on YouTube put shit together so they can uh, just do crazy stuff for the sake of doing crazy stuff. Well, now, here at Gillen's Garage, do a little bit of crazy stuff, because I need to. So, we're getting both the lifts, one trip, on this nice, borrowed, 40-foot pipe trailer. Should work out pretty good. So, hang on, and I hope you enjoy what I got going on. And if you do, remember, hit that like and subscribe for more necessity-driven craziness? I don't know. All right, hang on. All right, so I thought I'd just give you a little overview. I wish I had a little bit of a higher pinnel hitch, but that's the best I got. But yeah, 40 foot, 12,000 pound. At its widest point, it's it's uh, no wider than six feet. So I'm hoping I'll just line the car lifts up and back underneath them put a little space between them get them strapped down getting the uh, legs up ought to be a little bit interesting but uh super uh super glad to have the opportunity to be able to borrow something like this and and make it work so time will tell how it works out Alright guys, down here, pick up the lifts and with me I got Greg here from Greg. He's the dent dude. So if you need paintless dent repair, reach out to Greg if you're in the Harrisburg area. Let me tell you what, he's got some nice equipment here. Showed me everything he's got. Looks great doing ceramic coating as well. So reach out to Greg. I'll uh, I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description for his... Uh, Facebook, what, Twitter, Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, yeah all, all, of, all of that, all stuff. that stuff. Web page, all of that. So anyhow, so we're down here. I'll go ahead and show you. We uh, we got both the lifts lined up. Got a couple of little blocks underneath them. We're hoping to shoot the trailer in the gap here. So we'll see how I do. It just ought to be fun.
All right, we got them loaded. Let me tell you what, that went a lot easier than I thought. Let me tell you what, these old uh, farm jacks or uh, high lift jacks made, made the difference, made the difference. So we got it all strapped down. Got three straps on each, actually four on that back one. Got everything battened down so it's not gonna go anywhere. But uh, as you can see on that one across, if you guys have watched that uh, U-Haul video where the guy puts one on a U-Haul, he gave me the idea for cutting the uh, cutting the two befores. These straps here should also hold it, and we uh, set the uh, uh, set the latch. So if something were to happen, it should drop and catch on the latch as well. But I don't know. Pretty freaking awesome looking load, if you ask me. So if anybody says you can't haul two lifts in one trailer, right here's the proof. And again. Special thanks to the Dent dude and my good buddy John for helping me get this stuff loaded because without those guys, wouldn't have got it done. So let's see how the trip home goes. All right, guys, made it home. Gotta love old Red. She works great. Got the trailer, jackknife close to where I, I think I can at least get the one unloaded, maybe reposition and drop the second one. But, you know, Mrs. Gillen will be like, I can't believe you're gonna show them inside of the shop. Well, the hard work starts now, right? I gotta get all of these babies out, clean up whatever the hell that is, and a little bit behind me here, and get these things out of the road so that then I can put those there. So, maybe I'll do a little time lapse on that. God, who wants to see me clean up a mess? But I don't know, here we go. Well, this is definitely the latest that old girl's been running in the year. A little cold-blooded with this 30-degree weather. All right, well, as you can see, a lot happened from that last little sweeping. I got, uh, what, three buddies, my brother-in-law and two buddies, uh, came over and we freaking knocked it out. And, you know, I run this channel with my iPhone. I was battling with some storage issues and uh, uh, battery was dying. And so I didn't get a whole lot of footage of sliding these things in here. And you know what? Time was of the essence, and so more concerned about just getting this thing in, or getting these things in, and uh, and getting cleaned up for the night. So, kind of lost a little bit of footage there, but as you can see, everything's in place. Unicorn's over in the corner. Eddie's right here. I got, oh, Jiminy Christmas, still a mess. Still got, uh, I got Blue Kitty here, and, and man. Little tight tolerance there, like half an inch, but clearance is clearance. So I got Blue Kitty in the corner there, the bricks over here, and uh, the 54 Skyliner is uh, is right there. Need to get it covered up for the winter. I need to crawl up and put the cover on uh, Eddie as well. But uh, anyhow, so I'm excited to have a little bit more space. Pretty sure I'm gonna sell this old rig right here. I got enough projects and and uh, I need the space. I wanna get the racks hung up on the wall, but I wanna get this space cleared out right here so that uh, I get the skid steer backed in here for the winter. So I can just drop the plow right out the door, plow the driveway out. But all the vehicles should be in for this winter. So I'm really excited about that. In this space back here, I was able to get three Broncos, but now in that same basic space, I can get, uh, I can get four vehicles. So. Pretty excited about that, so stay tuned, more to come. And, and again, if you guys like what you see, please like and subscribe. 
More to come.